Good morning to you. Thank you so much for being part of Why in the Morning. We are coming to you live from the broadcasting house here in Nairobi, Kenya. We are also streaming live through our website. That's at www.kbc.co.ke forward slash Y254. Now, my name is Ram Aguko. It's a pleasure being with you on this fine Tuesday morning. It is Entrepreneurship Tuesday. If you're just joining us, this is Why in the Morning. And of course, we value your feedback. The hashtag as always is Why in the Morning. Tag me at Ram Aguko and at Y254 channel, which is our official station handle. Now you're just in time for the next conversation of today, and it's all about entrepreneurship. Joining me in studio, a fantastic lady. She goes by the name Lydia Nakumicha. She is an, an uh, entrepreneur and the founder and uh, proprietor of uh, Pishi Bora Spice and also an alumni of uh, Zuri Foundation of 2022. Thank, uh, Karibu sana. Asante sana. Kwa salama. Yes, kabisa. You're feeling well? Kabisa. So, um, so even as we continue, uh, I would like first of all to uh, ask you to tell us a bit more about what you do mm -hmm. and what Pishibora is all about. Um, Pishibora is a, a spice company that mm -hmm. I started in the year 2021 mm -hmm. at the peak of COVID-19. Um, Bishibora was inspired by a uh, number of factors. Number mm. one, um, the job market was a bit turbulent that time. So most companies were firing, some kept hiring. Mm. So I wanted to cushion myself financially. So okay. I thought, I had this idea of Pishibora for quite some time. You know, the way you have ideas and then and you then don't. They're stalled there. Yeah, they're stalled there. Yeah, just yeah. At the back of your head, you're like, I have this idea, mm. but I don't know when I'm going to execute it. <laughs> so I was like, wow, this is the time to do this. And, and, and interestingly, you're saying that's the time to do it when most people are closing shops. Yeah, because um, business, spices, people use spices every day, right? Uh -huh. Whether, whether you like it or not, at some point in your house, you're going to have tea masala, pilau masala, uh -huh, even just yeah, basic yeah. curry powder for uh -huh, your food. Uh -huh. We eat every day. So I feel like spices are, are um, like the heart of a home. So you, uh -huh. whatever, no matter what happens, you'll need spices. Like it's so it's a, 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 a essential. Yeah, essential. Yeah, regardless yeah. of the season that we are in at the country. Yeah. In the country. Okay. Spices always have to be in a home, you know? Uh -huh. They're like the heart of a home. So this idea has been with you for like yeah. so long. I, 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 I love cooking. I am mm. a mother of three. I, I really love cooking. So I, I kind of also struggled with getting the right spices. Mm. So I, I was like, well, how about I start my own chain of spices, my own brand of spices, mm. then I'm able to get the right spices for, for cooking. Mm. So that's mm. when Pishibora was born. Wow. Yes. Wow. So how long have you been having this um, idea for um, having your own chain of spices and uh, coming up with Pishibora. You said you've been you've been having it for a, a long time now. Yeah, the idea was in the, at the back of my mind for close to two years. I was basically sitting on the idea. Mm -hmm. Then one day I decided, let me just go with it. Wow. Yeah, it took me a long time. Mm -hmm. It also took me a lot of thinking because, you know, it's not easy to start a business here in Kenya, mm -hmm. especially for small entrepreneurs, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, there's, there's so much... Um, government regulations, which I understand it's a part of the process just to, to enable the end user get the correct product. Mm -hmm. So government regulations are a bit tight on upcoming entrepreneurs. Mm -hmm. So uh, so that's what was holding me back also. Now, now, now for many um, uh, um, um, SMEs, uh -huh. they complain, uh -huh. especially at the beginning, yes. that capital is an issue. Yes. And uh, they always say that starting is always a problem, which, which interestingly, you've also said starting is always a problem. Yeah. And you know, you, you may have an idea and it takes even years, years and years for you to actually implement it. Yeah. Um, how is it for you, you know, coming up with the capital and trying to, you know, get it on the road? So, um, Number one, I had I had a savings. Yes, when you, before you start a business, you have a plan, right? Yeah. You sit down and do your own business plan. Then mm. it, the, the entire plan involves money. So where am I gonna get this money to start the business, mm. right? Mm. So I had some savings. I got some money from my friends. I got some from the family members. Nah. Yeah, and then I started on a very small, very small scale. And 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 how was the reception from friends and family? Oh, I have a very good network of friends, and my family is also very, very supportive. Mm. Uh, so when I when I raised the idea that guys, I think I'm gonna start selling spices, but I'm gonna start on a small scale. But even the small scale, 
I'm not big enough to go alone. So you guys, you know, mm -hmm. I have very good friends who are like, let's help you do a, sh a business shower. So we, we did a mini uh, business shower <laughs> for me. <laughs> you know, the uh, way you do like uh, a baby shower. A baby shower, yeah. yeah. I, I, I was trying to uh, <laughs> copy paste the idea yeah. here. So you have friends, you know, for many people, uh -huh. um, uh, there are friends who tell them, you know what, um, um, that's your problem. Deal with it. Deal with it. Yeah. It, it it's your idea. Yeah. It is your vision. Go with it. Go with it the way you want. Uh -huh. Don't bring me on board. I know. Yeah. I know. You, you, you don't need to add me in that WhatsApp group mm -hmm. of of I don't know you. I'm starting a business. Yeah. But interestingly, you, you, your friends are different. You didn't have such kind of reception. Let me tell you, I have. It's taken me a very long time to get to where I am in terms of even my closest friends. I am. Mm. I have a very close-knit uh, circle of friends. Mm. These are people that I have known, some I've known them for less than five years, some from childhood. And as you grow up, mm. um, you keep dropping people along the way. You mm. know, people grow up, people have their own visions, they have their own dreams. Mm -hmm. And um, it's it's normal, it's very natural. Because they can drag the you. Person, yeah, the person you knew when you were 12, 13, 14, 15, in your early 20s when you're in campus and you guys are very tight, then you finish campus, you start your internship, you start your job, mm -hmm. you're about to start your business. Yeah. You keep drawing, dropping people along the way. And it, it does, it's not in a bad way. It mm -hmm. just means that their season in your life is over. You know, mm -hmm. you're moving on to the next the next step in your life. Mm -hmm. So as you move on in life, you meet people. You meet people that really value who you are as a person. Like they believe in your ideas, you know, they believe in your aspirations, they believe in your dreams. And when you, so when I flagged my idea to my friends, they're mm -hmm. actually like four, very close and tight. Mm -hmm. uh, they advise me and this is how you can go about it. This is how we can come in as your friends. And that's mm -hmm. how I started. Mm -hmm. So I got the initial capital. I took the train to Mombasa because okay. I had to go source for spice vendors, you know. Mm -hmm. I was told uh, there's spices in Isili, the spices in town, the spices in River Road, the spices in everywhere. So I went to all those places first here in Nairobi mm -hmm. and then I took a train to Mombasa. Mm -hmm. I went to Mombasa for a whole two days just sourcing spices from different people because I wanted to find the right spice. But, you know? but, but then how, how, are you, how are you able to sieve out uh, what is uh, uh, original good. from yes. what is fake, from what is good, from what actually just lies and then uh, you know uh, ends up spoiling everything? You get good vendors and they will tell you this is grade one, this is grade two. You get good vendors, they tell you this is grade three and this is not very good. Those are very honest vendors. These are people mm. who've done spices from the 70s even the 50s they will tell you this is a grade one this is a grade two so i collected i collected spices for spice samples from about six vendors i i, I never knew uh -huh. that spices comes in in the grades they do I, they I do i never knew that they so there's do. grade one yeah and grade two and but grade three if you do not know uh -huh. you'll just buy spices you wouldn't know then yeah, I, get the, I just buy yeah you will yeah. just buy uh -huh. then when you get the brand to the market then uh -huh. people who know spices i have friends who have uh, grown up in families that literally started cooking with spices when they were two mm. so they really know how to to sieve out best spice in terms of uh, aroma when you cook food oh, so i will mm. give them i'll give the samples to my friends and ask them to test <laughs> and it wasn't good believe me it wasn't good at first the first try it wasn't good they gave me feedback you know so instead of me sucking and saying ah you guys i'm niskili i was like okay this is this is feedback uh -huh. what am i gonna do about this i went back so now i was introduced to a certified spice manufacturer in mombasa the, mm -hmm. the guy uh, the guy buys um, brings in imports um, uh, mills and now sells so when you want pilau he'll give you all the spices that com 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 all the spices that make up pilau masala mix for you nicely mm -hmm. in good quantities and sell it to you so so, so you've got you, you 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 did it you got the first trial yeah. um your friends told you know what this is horrible yeah, yeah it's horrible did not discourage you no, you no, still no. continued uh, yeah and the same thing friends yeah connected you with somebody who knows these things yes okay. so i met a lady uh, through a friend mm -hmm. she lives in mombasa she was like i know this guy who does these spices can we try this guy so we went there he's a big company uh he's been in the business for the, his profile says from the 1950s 
So this is someone who's well he, seasoned. He's, he, he's so old. Huh? It's a family. It's a family <laughs> oh, it's business. A family yeah, thing. it's not an individual. <laughs> I was only from 1950. No, it's goodness. a family business that's been running for quite yeah, some time yeah, for decades. Yeah. So mm. this is where I got my good spices, like what I wanted, the best ones, you know, best in terms of flavor, freshness. Mm. Yeah. So that's when. I started now going forward with the brand. But but, but then um, uh, I'm I'm also wondering uh -huh. you 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 have yet a different background. Yes. In terms of uh, academia, yes. you have a background in procurement. Yeah. Um, <laughs> now I'm looking at you getting into the hotel business. Yes. And 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 and, and food industry. Mm -hmm. How does uh, these two uh, areas? come together uh -huh. or have you left one for the other so i started procurement but i did i think i have practiced procurement for only six years in my entire life since mm. the since since uh, college so i have i have an eye I, I have um how do you say it i am good at marketing I'm very good mm -hmm. and I've done marketing all my life I've done merchandising I've done marketing I've done key accounts mm -hmm. um, so you look I, like you're in business when you're in high school <laughs> <laughs> you, no, you know, you know, you know we have, I don't know if, if, if you, you guys know such a person uh, in school there's only that person who comes uh, from home with, with the, stuff to sell, with stuff to sell mm -hmm. in, in, in high school no <laughs> I did do that. <laughs> I never did that. Right. I never did that. But I've done marketing most of my life, so I know how to market a product. I know how to get a mark. I know how to get a product to the supermarket. Ah. I know how to move it. I know how to, you know, I know how to get shares in on a shelf. So procurement comes in handy also, but mostly I've done marketing. Mm -hmm. My entire mm -hmm. life. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And now let's look at the market um, itself. Mm -hmm. You know, how was it now? You've, you you you've acquired your products mm -hmm. now you want to 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 market them outside there mm -hmm. you want to sell them mm -hmm. you want to ensure that you're felt mm -hmm. um so that when somebody goes to the supermarket or to the uh, to, to a particular store mm -hmm. it is your product they that see. they get okay so number one i'm still on a low scale level mm -hmm. but my product is out there yeah i've been doing um remember when you started i mentioned uh, government regulations mm. there's the standardization mark you need to get for the product to get to the market exactly. right yeah. so when i started uh i wrote on the fact that my supplier my my supplier in mombasa has this standardization mark but apparently we need to get into a contract for him to say that i am strictly going to stock his products which are which mm -hmm. which uh passed the standardization uh -huh. so um so that is a process that i'm currently undertaking mm -hmm. it has to be like a partnership mm -hmm. so it means going forward i will only buy from him which is fine because so far his prices have been good and so far there is a good uh, rapport you've, a good, you, you've ensured that everything yeah, is safe everything is good everything is safe mm -hmm. uh, number two i need to so the product has been in the market without the standard standard mark mm -hmm. um and uh, I want to say I thank uh, the Zuri Foundation for enabling uh, enabling me meet the KEBS uh, officials mm -hmm. who are able to take me to the, through the process. Mm -hmm. And then I started the process. So I'm in the process of getting the mark. Then now I'm rolling out the and brand. Then you start rolling out. Yeah, yeah, in yeah, June. Yeah, yeah. So what I've done mostly currently, I'm doing social media. Mm -hmm. uh, social media is a very powerful marketing tool. Mm -hmm. uh, statistics say that. Uh, 37.8 billion people on the planet use use, use social media mm. that's approximately 48 percent of the total global population mm. and uh, it also says that um we spend an average of 2.5 hours on social media in a day mm. so you can imagine the power of social media very powerful yeah, yeah. that's yeah. how you get in a gathering and yeah. everyone is on their phones they're on S social speaking of social media yeah. now how can somebody find you mm -hmm. on social media as, as we, even as you continue this conversation so that we do it you know as we talk yes i'm on instagram at mm. pishibora spices and mm -hmm. facebook pishibora spices i'm also on twitter as pishibora spices so check her out yeah yeah check her out pishibora spices yeah. on social media yeah. so you've managed to grab hold of these particular yeah. uh, uh, you know uh, media platforms yes. and you're taking your photos there yeah and and, and, and you, you, you have clips that are there also. i do photos i mm -hmm. do tutorials i do um i do testimonials mm -hmm. i do also mostly i do i do videos on stories like i post twice a week mm -hmm. just so i don't overwhelm my also my customers mm -hmm. and my fans uh, i also do just 
when there's an, a weekend, I do photos of what's going to be happening, you mm. know. Mm. So I keep the social media very engaged. Mm. And uh, currently, <laughs> I'm at 1,200 followers, which is a good thing for me because... That's those, a good thing. Yeah. yeah. It, it started from 1 to 2 to 3, and then I'm at 1,200. Mm -hmm. And the brand is still young. So I believe the brand is... As the brand grows, social media also grows. Mm -hmm. But also, um, most of my sales come from the social media, from referrals. Someone interacts with my brand, they, they share their testimonials, I put them on social media. Somebody else comes in and reads mm -hmm. and uh, gets to try the brand. I, I, I love the fact that you appreciate small beginnings yeah. and you value baby steps. And I, I love the fact that you know you're you are not in a hurry to expand quickly, mm -hmm. you want to take it step by step, yeah. even as you consult. Yeah. But throughout this particular journey, mm -hmm. what are some of those challenges you faced? Those things that you know, uh, right, right now you can remember. You're like, wow, that was that that was something. Uh, number one, just ID identifying the right spice was a big problem for me. Mm. I'm, I come from Western Kenya. <laughs> we used to eating normal <laughs> food, you know. Grew up in the village. Yeah. So there's ugali na mboga, imetoka kwa shamba. Mm. There's no spices in Kunde. Yeah, yeah. Am I right? Yes. Yeah. So for me to even just start this spice business, getting the right spice, you know, freshness, you know, um, the aroma, you know, the mm. authenticity. Mm. It was a journey for me. That's why I had to go back and forth, back and forth, until I got to the right spice. But at, at some point, don't you go at a loss because you end up buying what you? It's won't business. Even use? That's business. You if if you come if you start a business mm. and then ni kama mtotom dogo when the baby starts scrolling, I'm a walking. They always fall. Are they gonna mm -hmm. sit down and say I'm not gonna walk again because I'm gonna fall? No. no, you wake up, dust, and move on. It's mm. business. As as much as it's a small business and the finances are a bit tight, you do not settle for failure. Mm -hmm. You're like you, I was like, you know what? Um, this didn't work, but I need to move forward. Mm -hmm. I need to move forward to the next thing until this works. Yeah, 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 yeah. And 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 I, I love that. When it comes to now the the um, uh, your own setup at your at, at, at the, the family setup. Mm -hmm. um, do you now have like you know you know for, for example i have this friend mm -hmm. who sells um food products okay so when you go to his home uh -huh. the whole sitting room <laughs> Sitting room. Uh -huh. uh, but, you know, it's, it's full of you know items that okay. they are they, they are selling, and you're like, oh, uh, so where do we sit? I know <laughs> because I've got a bed sitter. Oh but, wow, okay. Yeah, so it's 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 a big Makes sense. yeah. Hmm. So it's a big uh, challenge for, for for this guy uh -huh. to you know try to uh, move around. But I love the fact that uh, you're doing that mm -hmm. as you are you know trying to make ends meet but let me come to the aspect of you being a mother mm -hmm. and I'm not going to ask you how you balance okay that's not what I want to ask mm -hmm. because I believe a woman has the strength and the power to do so yeah yeah yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. so I want to ask this particular question mm -hmm. how is the reception at the family level mm -hmm. being that yes you are a woman mm -hmm. and for many they would consider that some of these businesses you know okay. and you know there's that aspect of gender based uh, 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 you know um, uh, uh, gender based perception yeah, that yeah. there the that bias. who should do what yeah. there's that biasness yeah. and what priority sh should we give to somebody how has it been for you I, um, I'll, let me take you back I was uh, I was raised by a single mom we were yeah. seven of us yeah my mom back then when i was young that is early 80s my mom was very resilient i saw my mom trade my mm. mom was a grocery trader she would bring lorries of groceries from mount elgon to momias i grew up in momias wow yeah mm -hmm. so my mom will bring lorries of groceries from mount elgon tomatoes mm. onions cabbages kumawiki and sell to people Back the then, there. yeah, okay. back then, hmm. people had this notion that uh, business-minded women were from a certain tribe, you know? Yeah. Yeah, business-minded women were probably from the Kikuyu tribe. Mm. My mom is Luya, mm. and she was able to do all this on her own so that all of us could go through school, you know? So my mom has been, like, 
I draw this from my mom, you know, <coughs> the resilience. My mom was able to fight bias back then. My mm. mom was able to to fight, I mean, uh, all sorts of uh, wars against women entrepreneurs back then. Mm. So I look at her, and right now, as an entrepreneur, I tell myself there's nothing I can't do. There's nothing that I can't sell. There's nothing like you're a woman and this is not your space, mm. you know? Mm. I can exist in the entrepreneurial world knowing that I'm a human being apart from being a woman mm. and that I can achieve, I can achieve whatever I want. Mm -hmm. My family has been very supportive because um, they understand where I'm coming from. Mm. As much as, uh, you know you have that sister who always wants to sell things to you in the family? <laughs> I have one. Yeah. I, 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 I can relate. I'm that sister. Like, I have this. Are you going to buy um, I've, I've even sold handbags. I've sold fashion accessories. And mm. everyone in my... F it always starts with support from the family. Mm. My brothers will buy, my sisters, my sister-in-laws, you know? Mm -hmm. Everyone in the family. So support uh, everyone has been supportive to me and that helped me to even just be confident in mm -hmm. propelling myself further mm -hmm. yeah. and, and, and and when it comes to the industry itself mm -hmm. have you you know got, gone through um uh, or, or experienced that aspect of gender-based biasness in the in industry as you're trying to get your products out there sourcing and of course marketing yeah because um pishibora is still very young but some people think there's me and somebody else you know <laughs> who's, who's Pishibora? Okay. Pishibora is just for Pishibora is Lydia Nahomisha Simi behind it. There's no other person behind it. It's mm. my it's my baby. I call it my fourth baby. Mm. So when people ask who are your partners, I am the founder, I am the proprietor. Of course as the company <laughs> grows, there's going to be partners on board. Yeah. But currently I am the you know. So appropriate of the of, of, yeah, of it. Yeah. And and, and I, I I love the fact that you're saying, you know, people always have this perception that okay you are alone um who who's, is there? who's there who's, who's there? back there with you you know uh -huh. you're not alone yeah, tell us who's on the side with if, you if behind a man there is behind a successful man there is a woman not about behind a woman, a woman yeah. but they, there must be a man somewhere there is no man the only men behind my back are my sons <laughs> <laughs> yeah and my brothers yeah now yeah. um uh, what is that now inspires you every single day mm -hmm. because i'm looking at you um starting a business during a time of covid yeah when everyone is closing shop you're starting one. yeah <laughs> in terms of, of 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 gender you've managed to say you what you know what i'm going to influence other women to do yeah. to do better yeah i i picked that from my mother and i'm going to transfer it even to other women outside yeah. there what inspires uh, you as a person number one i have passion for what i do um, every day when I wake up in the morning, I want to see my brand out there, however small it is. I want it to be... I, I, if I ever manage to do a statistics of how many houses I've reached here, I'll mm. share with, with you one day. Mm. But I have passion for what I do. Number two, I want to see better for myself even. You know, mm. when you grow up from a certain background, and then now you're like, my kids are not going to grow up like me. My kids are going to have better. Mm. So it keeps me going every single because day. Because you want a better future for yeah, somebody. Yeah, I want a better future for the, for my children, number one. Mm. And then also for, for the women that work with me. Remember when I started Shibora, uh, it was at the peak of COVID, right? Mm -hmm. So there was this, um, there was isolation for this group called the Mama Fua. You know, Mama Fua, wale wanakanga in Jaget. Yeah. Families isolated them because they did not need to someone to clean for them because now everyone was now working from home, home. Mm -hmm. you don't need extra help so most of these women were stranded mm -hmm. i was also um an employee an employer of them at some point because they would come do laundry for me but now i'm working from home i don't need anyone to do laundry so what am i what's gonna happen so some of them would approach me and they're like hakuna kibarua i'm like hakuna but nikisikia nitakwambia so when i saw pishibora was like there's branding, there's weighing, there's branding, there's a lot of activities that take place for the product to, you know, to stand out. Mm. So I, I got two of them, two that I had known for quite some time. So they come every time I'm doing the packaging, branding, the, every, the whole process. They come, help me, and then I give them something small. Mm -hmm. And even as I, I grow, I grow, as the company grows, I'm planning to employ more of them. They only need few special skills which can be trained, you know. Mm -hmm. And then now... By doing that, I feel that like I'll be empowering somebody else, you know. Mm -hmm. If I'm giving them this job and they don't have very special skills, but I can train them, mm -hmm. they'll have food on the table for their kids. Mm -hmm. They'll have a guaranteed salary, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. so 
I, 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 I want to see better for everyone else through Pishibora. Mm -hmm. I want to see that um, I bring happiness and joy in people's home. When you come home, imagine coming home to a uh, pilau, you know, cooked with Pishibora. My coming God. home to that My hot goodness. tea cooked with pil Pishibora to I'm masala. <laughs> Look at the barbecues on thing. Sundays, you know, know. uniting families. Mm. That is my mm. passion, and I that's what drives me every day. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, now, I, I, I want us to wrap this okay. up. Okay. I want okay. to give you time to have a final word, okay. um, our take on for the day. Oh, cool. But even as you do that, mm -hmm. speak to somebody watching you this uh -huh. morning, somebody who wants to do what you're doing. Okay. There are still 